doing some more art and craft today and we're going to do something that's called marble painting and it's really fun yay so you'll need something that's like a tray it could be anything it could be one of mum's baking trays or dad's trays from something the ones that have you bring out a cup of tea on will work fine just but needs to have a side it's just got to have a side because we're going to put some marbles in there and roll them all around and we don't want them rolling out all over the place mm. okay so i've used barbecue trays because they're really good because they're easy to clean as well mm -hmm. yeah and a good size all right and then you'll need a piece of paper to go in the bottom and now if your piece of paper doesn't fit all you have to do is get some scissors and cut it down and i'm just going to get oh you're going to be very tricky well done I am. you're going to trace yours i'm going to trace mine oh i'm going to have a go at like it doesn't matter if it's smaller than the bottom of the tray just as long as it fits inside beautiful oops mm -hmm. Oops, Oops bumping your tray, Rainbow Linda. Okay, so Ooh. I've just traced my tray and I'm going to cut around so my piece of paper fits inside. Measuring mine to see if it fits. No, it's too long on the end still. Beautiful. And you can choose any colour paper, Rainbow Linda? Any colour paper works fine. Okay, so whatever um, tickles your fancy. Yeah, whatever looks good. Right. Okay. And you can put a little bit of blue tack underneath to stop your paper sliding around if you want to. If you don't have that, it doesn't really matter. So I'll give you, I'll go your halves there. Thank you. <laughs> and I'm going to break mine into two little bits. How about I do mine without yes. blue tack and you do yours with? All right, we'll find out how it goes. Just in case you don't have blue tack, you can see how it goes. Okay, mine's not. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at that. Awesome. They look pretty good, both of them though. They do. Yeah. All right, now we're going to put some paint in the bottom and choosing different colours looks the best, I think. So if you've got squirty ones like this, you can squirt a blob into the bottom of your paper and it doesn't matter where it goes. You just want to go, would you like green? Yeah, why not? Okay. Oh, and you do it all at the same time, Rainbow Linda. We do. I'm going to put some yellow over there. I you can put them all in together, but I like it when the colours spread out in different spots. Can you see? We're just blobbing. Blob some red in there. Oh, that's almost pinky colour. Oh, that's isn't nice. it? Nice. Nice and, and bright. I think this one's like a white. White looks good on coloured paper. Oh, I like this colour. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Have I got enough paint, Rainbow Linda? No, that's good. Okay. And you can always add a little bit afterwards, which will give a nice layered effect if you don't think you've got enough. Less is better because the more paint you have, it actually makes the paper soggy. You can actually rip holes in your paper if there's too much paint. It's okay. like it soaks through and rips a hole. So now we get to put marbles on. This is my marble container and I borrowed some from my daughter Lily as well. This is my marble bag when I was a little girl. Oh. I used to take to pre-primary. Thanks, Mum and Dad. Everyone okay. loves marbles. So in here I've got little marbles and bigger marbles and a big tombola. Wow. And even golf balls. Golf balls work really, really well. So about two or three, however many you oh, want so to you get a couple there. of marbles. Absolutely. And different more. sizes. You can go different sizes, whatever. I'm going to throw the golf ball in because I like the patterns. Because it's bumpy, it makes a different kind of pattern. Oh. Mm. I'll do some little ones. And I'm going to go, is it the same size? one. I'm pretty happy with oh, it. Oh, got a little bubba. Okay, <laughs> I've got three different sizes too. See? Yeah. Plonk them in and all you have to do, you pick up your tray and you just start rolling around. So back and forth, back yeah. and forth, side to side. And they'll start rolling and spreading out your paint. Wow, look at that. And if we wanted to use this as a mindful, which is a beautiful mindfulness exercise, but we can maybe go breathe in. 
How cool is this? It is. It feels really good too. And it's oh, and they do different patterns sorta. if you go back and forth. So yes. if you rock different ways. I see. Mm. You can, because you didn't use as much paint, you can see your colours better. Mine's turning into a big, like, fireworks blob. But you've also but got you a big marble, it's... right? Oh, yeah. It's the golf ball, yeah. Oh, the golf ball. Wow, that is really cool. <laughs> Isn't it? It is. And then if you want to cover up, I've got this little blue bit in the middle here and I'm trying to roll the ball through it so I'm going to take my time and line it up. That's oh, it. missed. <laughs> of course, so you're trying to go, oh, I want that bit. There you are. I got it. Oh, that's beautiful. I just want my pink to be a little bit more... Or red, pinky my, red. I'm glad I blue taped mine because my big golf ball's making my edges turn up. Yours is staying nice and straight. Yeah. Okay. So Linda's got the blue tack and Rainbow Claire doesn't. Hmm. Beautiful. So, yeah. And then nice. once I we like finish yours. with that, we we take the marbles out. Absolutely. It'll be a little bit messy, but that's okay. Doesn't matter how much mess you make, because you can always clean it up. There we go. Maybe if you've even got a paint apron, yeah, make sure that best. you don't have your good clothes on, <laughs> because Arts and Crafts is pretty messy. Um, wow. Ta-da. You'll have to put it somewhere flat, maybe in the sun to dry. Oh, beautiful. Oh, can you get your A rainbow clay can't get her out. <laughs> Okay, we will. Just nice and patient. Nice and slowly. You can't rush these things. And there we go. Awesome. And that's our marble painting. Have fun. See ya. Bye. Ooh, got paint on my hand.